I'm Beth Twishouting. I'm the Senior Director of Programs and Services at the Historical Society of Pennsylvania. What I've pulled are a set of documents that relate to the thrift movement of the late 1800s and early 1900s. Uh, this was a, actually an international movement to get people to save money, uh, both so that they could take care of their own families, but also for the sake of the communities. These documents basically have to do with a part of the thrift movement called the School Savings Bank. At the time, it was considered really important to teach children how to save so that they would uh, grow up to be upstanding citizens. One of the interesting things about this program was in this country it was championed by the Women's Christian Temperance Union. And in fact, I have some cards here that were put out by them um, to try to convince people that this was a good program. And the uh, cartoons or the illustrations are actually very similar to ones that were put out earlier in the 1800s by the Temperance Union, Union itself showing the um, good and bad effects of drinking. And so here, obviously, if you save, you have a nice family life. And if you don't save, you're out on the streets, your family is broken, uh, you might be driven to drink or um, some other form of substance abuse. So this is a school savings bank record card for an individual student that would bring in uh, so much money uh, each week. And it would be recorded in here. This says the um, date of deposit, for instance, for September 6, 1920, and how much, and then September 13th. And the money would be gathered each month, and then it would be sent off to a local bank that had set up for the school the, the savings. One of the things that uh, Sarah Oberhartzer did was write a little song called the School Savings Rally. And she was known as a poet in the um, late 19th century. So it's not a far-fetched that she would write this poem. But what's interesting is it includes hand movements that have this card with it. And the idea is that you would show the card at certain times. You would tap it with your finger at certain times. She even tells you which finger to tap it with. You're to use the forefinger of your right hand. <laughs> and um, I won't sing it. But for instance, the first verse goes, our pennies we are saving, and bank accounts have we. We're rich we because we're provident. Our scholar's card, you see. We help ourselves, for we have learned to save in little things. We count our interest, for we know the comfort money brings. And the thought is that there are actually parallels um, today in terms of how people spend their money, the de decisions they make, and how healthy their families and our economy is.